next week we'll be setting sail on the beautiful P&O Iona. Another cruise we hear you say? Yes indeed. So will we hear you constantly moaning it's too hot? Not likely. We're off to Northern Europe in February, but if you do hear us mention we're too cold, feel free to give us a slap. In this video, we'll be chatting all about our pre-cruise preparations and talking you through the online check-in and pre-booking of restaurants, shows and excursions. So if you don't know us, I'm Rachel, he's Wills and we are Postcard and a Pint. So ship ahoy, anchors away and let's get ready to sail. We're very, very, very excited because oh, yeah. we're going on a cruise in two days' time oh, and yeah. we cannot wait. This will be a bit of a weird video because we haven't gone yet, but by the time you see this video... We'd have got back last night. We'd have got back last night. So this is us talking about getting ready and mm -hmm. all the things we've done, but we are going to throw in some clips, hopefully. hopefully, in the 12 hours we've got from getting back and releasing this video, yep. of our time there. Yep. So you're thinking, oh, they haven't gone yet, but how have they shown the cruise? Yeah. That is how. So we very booked this cruise, basically, because it was very, very, very it cheap. It was. We saw it online. We went, cheap for a cruise. Yes, cheap for a cruise. It wasn't cheap. We went down to our travel agent to see if they could match it and if they could, you know, throw in any perks or anything like that. And match it they did, and put us down for an upgrade if the ship's not full. The price we paid? £429 per person. Now we think this is really good value and let me tell you why. Because yeah. for that price, you've got all of your food if you want it. There yeah. is more additional paid yeah. uh, restaurants, specialty restaurants. We'll tell you about that in a bit. Um, drinks aren't included on this package. We'll tell you about that in a bit as well. But your yeah, entertainment is, your obviously accommodation is. And we were topping it up. If we were to go down to London for a few days, we couldn't do it for anywhere near this price, could yeah, we? Yeah, we've worked out that per day for the price that we've paid works about £61 per day. And I could eat more than £61 just for <laughs> me breakfast alone. Yeah, it's absolutely amazing value. When you first book, you will receive a login code. This code allows either of you to log in to the My p and Cruises. You need your name, your date of birth and that code. And then you can check in. I got us all checked in online and it was pretty straightforward and easy to navigate. One thing that was new to us this time was taking and uploading your own photo for p and to have as reference against your cruise card. Other cruises that we've been on actually take your photograph as you're checking in at the desk. Probably not the most flattering pictures in the world. You probably look like this but it is one less thing for you to think about on the whole we found the check-in process really it really right, easy it? yeah and now we've printed out our baggage labels and we'll attach those when we get to southampton so you're ready to go now have you got a fun itinerary Yep, so we're going from Southampton, and I'll just very quickly go through the itinerary with you for the week. So, we board on the Saturday. Yep. The Sunday is a sea day. The Monday, we're in Hamburg. Mm -hmm. The Tuesday is another sea day. Yep. The Wednesday and Thursday is an overnight in Rotterdam. Cool. Looking forward to that. Yeah. The Friday is Zeebrugge, which is the port for Bruges. Yep. And then Saturday, we're back in Southampton again, and back home. Who end of the... End of the cruise. End of the cruise. Now you're all checked in, this is the time to pre-book things to do in your cruise. Firstly, excursions. Ooh. Now we've booked one excursion because we wanted to see what a P&O excursion was like and bring it to you guys as well. And we decided on Hamburg because from doing our research, that seems to be the port that's the furthest away. I think Rotterdam, you can walk from the cruise terminal. Yeah. and Most in... of the excursions were Amsterdam. That's true, yeah. yeah. That's and true. we've been to Amsterdam. Loads of times. And if we get bored of Rotterdam, I'm sure we can get on a Amsterdam train to Amsterdam day, ourselves. Yeah. So we've gone for Hamburg. Neither of us been to Hamburg. Now, we did fancy the Beatles. It looked yeah. really good. We'll, we'll show it in the, yeah. in the, in the capture. But, but <laughs> it went at 2pm. So to us, that's a bit of a like waste, waste of day. day. Really. But you yeah. did get a bratwurst and a beer. You did indeed, and I'm sure you heard some Beatles music. So we've gone for medieval Lundberg. Mm. So we'll see a bit of Hamburg off the bus, get a bit of orientation of the city, and then we're going to a gorgeous medieval city. Don't know much about it, but we'll sure enjoy will. it, and we'll share it with you. We'll let you know what we thought. Was the guide good? Did we get a lot of time there? Mm. And, yeah, we'll basically share the excursion experience with you. Now over to Wills for one of his favourite subjects. Now let's talk about the food, because mm -mm. to be honest, that's why a lot of people go on a ship anyway. Yep. Now, bear with me, because this is complicated. There are loads of restaurants and places to eat on board, and even if you didn't spend another penny other than what you've paid so far, you could eat. 
all day, every day for you the could. entire cruise. Now, in addition to that, there's a number of speciality restaurants where you can play a supplement and have slightly, what they say, higher class of food or a different style of food. So yeah. we've booked two this time, yes. mainly because when we were on the Morella ship, we left it till we were on board to book and we missed out because we were too late because yeah. they do book up. So they do advise you book, book in first, advance. Yeah. So the two that we have booked, mainly A, because they look dead nice, and B, because we wanted to show you what yep. the speciality restaurants were like, were Sindhu, yes. which is a contemporary Indian, mm. and the other one is the Beach, Beach House. House. I yeah. remember the name then. The <laughs> Beach House, which is kind of Caribbean, South American... Yeah, nachos and curry. Oh, perfect. That's what we've booked. Absolutely. So And we've booked. We've also booked, if I get the name right... The chef's, chef's table. table. <laughs> I keep wanting to say the captain's table. It's the chef's table. table. Yeah. Now, there's no extra cost for this. Nope. But what it is, is a, a, a different menu curated by, what's his name? Marco, Marco Pierre, Pierre White. White. So it's a dead posh menu for one of the nights. And um, what are we doing going? <laughs> what are we doing going, yeah. <laughs> but you do have to book this in advance. Yes. So we've done that, but it's free of charge. Yeah. So looking forward to showing you all of the culinary delights that this ship has got to offer. So samosas, salt fish and celebrity chefs, bring it on. Now, another thing that we've booked is the Limelight Club. Ooh. So this is food and it spans across to entertainment as well. It's, it's a like, set menu, isn't it, yeah, this one? It's a three-course meal and it's a dinner show. Yeah. And we have got on board for us the comedy impressionist Deborah Stevenson. Yeah, I mean, there's there's loads of acts you can see. There's a lot of sort of x Factory, yeah. West Endy type um, Lee Mead's been on there. Who else Gareth has been there? Oh, Gareth Gates. I yeah. believe Sammy Brooks. Yeah. Uh, Matt Cardle. People like People that. People like that. But I'm so excited that we've got her because I'd much rather watch a we're working comedy theater, show. Because we, yeah, we see enough singers every singer. day of our lives. So, yeah, really excited about that. So we will... I've heard mixed reviews about the food on this show. That's true. But we will give you an And also about review. the seating as well, where yeah. you sit. It's unreserved seating, and some people say don't sit at the front, some say don't sit at the back. I'll tell you what, from working in theatre, don't sit at the front in a comedy impressionist show. That's true. Absolutely not. That's we'll, true. And we'll be at least two tables back. I'm but we're, we're looking forward yeah. to that one. It should be a different looking night. Looking forward to that, and we'll give you a review of that. So that's food and one night of entertainment, but there's got to be more. Will's? Let's talk about the entertainment on board, shall we? Now, there's loads of it all day, every day, yeah. but some of the things you do have to book in advance. Yes, we have booked the Headliners Theatre Company. They are doing three shows. They're the show team, aren't they? Yeah. They're the production show team, I and think. And just from looking at online at other reviews, there's 5,000 people potentially on this ship. In a 1,000-seater auditorium. Yeah, so normally where you could just rock up, maybe you can. Maybe people aren't into theatre shows, they'll all go off and do quizzes and stuff, but to be safe, we've reserved. You can book, yeah. Yeah, so we're seeing And you do this online. Yeah, we're doing different shows. Festival is one of them. Festival's one of them. Sky, Sky's the Limit. Sky's the Limit. Mm. There's a, there's a Take That yeah. musical as well. So we're well. going to see that. We're going to see... There are other shows yeah. as well. There's kids shows. There's we're not going to see the kids shows. We're no, not we're going to see the band those. show. Um, We've got the limelight, as we said. There's entertainment all over board. Yeah, we want to go and see the Sky Dome. Mm. Yeah, there's sort of Cirque du Soleil type aerialists in there. And... It's where the pool is, isn't it? Yeah, where they... the indoor pool is. They they hold events there. Now, it's not got very good reviews, to be honest. Because the acoustics and there are dreadful. But we'll tell you what it was like yeah. in the round-up video. There's the supposed to be video. a new show, isn't there? There's meant to be a new show on the Iona and what's the other Arvia. one? The Arvia. Which is the Nicole Scherzinger yeah. Nicole, uh, from Pussycat Dolls. Dolls. Yeah. Lewis Hamilton's ex. Yeah. She's devised a new show that sounds a bit weird, to be honest, called Shh. <laughs> And it's got a signature cocktail. It's got a it. signature cocktail, which we're going to have to try out and we, tell you what it's like. Yeah. That is indeed if the show is actually on board, because we haven't quite worked no. out if it is or not. Mm. But we don't have to book for this, by all accounts. You can just turn up. Yeah. Who knows? We'll find out the answers to all of these and you'll when tell we're you. on board. Yeah, we'll tell you next week or the week after or the week after that. There's a fair bit of content coming your way. You'll be seeing these ship videos <laughs> for the next three months. Excuse me? You did say ship then, didn't you? Of course I did. Hmm... Now on to something we haven't booked, and you might be surprised. Right, drum roll. We haven't booked a drinks package. Oh my goodness. Remember, we are reformed characters yeah, now are. since we, dry January, I'm just saying. But remember Morella, like it was all thrown in. Oh yeah. We looked at them, but we do think they're expensive. There's yeah. three or four different yeah. tiers of, of drinks package, it aren't there? It just seems confusing. So you've got your 985 confusing. per day. Per person. Which is mainly for your kids. I think it's aimed at the kids. It's fizzy drinks, it's juice. 
Yeah. It's that kind of thing. Yeah. Then you've got, I'm reading these here, 22.45 for your Alco free. Yeah. So I think you get the same, but you can get some coffees and you can get some sort of virgin cocktails. And even though I'm enjoying alcohol free beer at home, I don't want to enjoy it on my holiday. <laughs> then this is the one we probably would have gone for. £40.45 per this person. This is per person per, per day. day. And I think we worked out it would have put £283 on the, our cruise. Which is quite a lot of money, yeah. really. So we are going to tot it up as we go along and see, what, is this the right decision? Is this the we wrong decision? We might end up spending twice that yeah. on, our, on our drinks, but who, who knows? knows? But we're taking the chance. Yeah. Some people have said... Definitely do get it. Other people have said so definitely, definitely don't. don't get there it. There is one more tier, which is oh, yeah. forty nine forty five, which is deluxe, which basically well, is like, most of the drinks. Gives you most of the drinks, but it's still not all of them. I've still seen people say in Anderson's Gym Bar, some of those still aren't included. So it's very... and you can only have up to the total of X amount of yes, pounds per, per day, per... so fifteen quid's worth of day or something yeah, stupid like that. It just seems very very difficult to work your way around. On Morella, it was like you're all inclusive. And these are the Plus extra ones. Plus there's a premium package, yeah. yeah. So you're on the... And which is £10 extra per person to, per day. Which when, is all right, Which is it? all right. Which is all right. So, now, it could be we get on board and it's dead simple. Yeah. So we'll tell you that but when we come back. all the research we've done, it doesn't look that simple. So, yeah, you'll find out, did we make the right decision? We shall see. So you're all booked, but how do you go about doing this? So we've talked about booking excursions and restaurants and entertainment online... And this is all booked through the My p &O. Remember, we've checked in on My p &O. Mm. Now we've done all these other things on My p &O. Mm, It's easy to use, but... It's quite good. <laughs> it's just seemed a bit buggy. Yes. Yeah, I'll... You get conflicting information sometimes. We had, we initially had trouble booking the limelight. Yes. It says you can book all these things from two weeks beforehand. So we went on, booked all the theatre shows, no yep. problem. And then when it came to the limelight, it kept saying, no, not available, or yeah. come back again, or coming soon. We thought we'd missed it. Thought we'd missed it. Interestingly enough, our travel agent phoned us up, said, have you got any problems? Said, no, no, but apart from, we don't seem to be able to yeah. log in. So they phoned up P&O. P&O also couldn't get into it, so nope. we went, all oh, right, could be a technical glitch on the website. Uh, but anyway, a few days later, we were able to book, yeah. so that's so we, all right. So we got in. But we find that if we log into your My Cruises P&O, sometimes my name's not there, so we're like, oh, my gosh, have we booked me into the theatre shows? E even tonight, yeah. we were looking, just double-checking double what orders through. we had. It said for the shows, one guest, and we thought, oh, is it just me? Is, yeah. it, is it booked for Rachel? Yeah. Yet yeah, when we went on to hers, it said booked by me, but you're the, the guest. guest. It's, Very confusing. Yeah, it's not like you've booked two places in the theatre. would be a lot easier thing to say. And then there were also times where we Oh, the clicked. excursion. We didn't know I was on the excursion. We weren't 100% sure because it just yeah. said one booked. One or, booked or for you. Like that. But when we went on to mine, it was booked by me, with you as the guest. Yeah, so it's so, a little bit a little bit inconsistent. Yeah. But it is quite an easy user face, yeah. user interface. But it's we've just found it a little bit yeah. buggy. Right. So if that's buggy, are you going to get a Wi-Fi package on board? Wills? So, internet. Right. So there is Wi-Fi on board, but that is so you can log into your my PO you know, portal cruises, thing yeah. we were just telling yeah. you about. But the for if you want internet connection, you have to pay a fee on top of that. Now we were looking at maybe not getting it at all, and because when we when we get to the port days, we'll have our you know data and all that, yeah. or Wi-Fi in places. So we thought let's go internet free, but we thought we still want to be able to keep in touch with people when we post videos to reply yeah. to comments. The security of being able to contact home yeah. as well for for myself. Yeah. Um, so we've decided to go with it. Now it is pretty pricey. It's yeah, more it expensive is. than the Morella. But we've just got a huge saving. Well, we think it's a huge saving. Think, yeah. All of a sudden, we're we're three days to go, two yeah. days to go now before we go on this cruise, and all of a sudden, we've just logged into the P&O portal thing, and there's loads of discounts yeah. compared to when we booked when we looked online a, a week or so out. ago. There are a lot sold out, yeah, so some I guess of the you can't. Theatre shows are sold out. So so, yeah. so I guess. That's a risk you take. Yeah. Book later, get them a bit cheaper, or yeah. book earlier just to be safe. So yeah. we have gone for the internet. And have you got the prices there? I have. We have okay. paid £90.72 per person. That's the ultimate. That is the ultimate. There were two tiers, and yeah. we were going to go one with us for the for the ultimate tier and one on the yeah. lower down one. But in the end, we just went, you know what? Let's just yeah. both have it for safety, really. Yeah. So and that, for peace yeah. of mind. For peace of mind, and we can contact home at any time. Yeah. So next Friday, we travel down to Southampton to board this gorgeous ship. And what do the Met Office do? Slap on an amber warning for snow. 
do watch next week, our journey down could be hilarious. But let's put that to the back of our minds and leave you with this. So there we are. We're all checked in. We've booked our excursions, our dining, our entertainment, and we're all ready to go. Because we've done a load of research over the last few weeks, haven't we, since we knew we were going on this? Yeah, we've been watching YouTube. We've been trying to learn the ship and what we can do, what yeah. we can't do, what costs. And some of the channels we'd like to say thanks to who we've watched loads yeah. are Namie Does Cruising, yeah. um, Cruising with the Four Bs. And Cooks Explore, yeah. who we met up with in Chester a few weeks ago. Yeah, we've watched your videos, guys, and we hope our videos will be as good as yours yeah. and join yours one day. We but, feel like we know the ship. Yeah, which is strange. We've not set foot on it yet. Yeah. So some final thoughts. Right, now on to our positives and negatives. We're going to throw them all at you in one list. Okay. Okay, first thing... The price. Can't beat it, can you? Cannot beat it. That's the biggest positive I think there is. You can have your whole week. If you wanted to, you wouldn't have to pay another penny than you pay for your cruise. And you could eat for the yep. entire cruise. You could have your entertainment. You yep. could. You know, it might and take a while, but you could go into all of the ports. Yeah, and if you're happy with water, tea and coffee, yeah. then you don't even have to buy a drink yep. either. So, yeah, that is absolutely fantastic Brilliant, value. Isn't it? Next one. Checking in. Positive, yeah. Easy online check-in. From uploading the photograph, printing the luggage labels. Now, it might be when we actually get there, there's yeah. big queues and things, because I have heard some stories about that, but on the whole, so far, yeah. touch wood. Absolutely it's great. Right. Next one yeah. is a positive and a negative. Oh, go on, what is it? Planning your week, having to plan your week. Yeah. I mean, it's brilliant, because we know we've got Cindy Restaurant, we know we've got this, we know we've got the shows booked. But, We're just a bit more spontaneous yeah, than that, Yeah, I like we? to look at my cruise thing and go, oh, I've had to do this and this and this today. And we've had to kind of set in stone yeah. what we're going to do. But it might be fine. It, yeah, it might be fine, but... It's a positive because we're definitely going to get in, but it's a negative because you're not spontaneous. Yeah. So that's that. What's next on my list? Oh, all written down. I have got them all written down. It's a no-fly cruise. Hey! So that's no she weight limit. Planes. I don't like planes, and you're always like 21, 23 kg. I'd have to throw out that pair of shoes because <laughs> can I bring home a bottle of wine? No, I can't because I'm overweight. Oh, that's one thing we didn't mention. Oh, we didn't mention that. You can take on up to a litre of alcohol. Per person? I think it's per person so on we, board. So yeah. you can take a bottle of wine or two. You could, But you can only drink it in your cabin. That's all right. So, again, that's another way you could save, right. save money if yeah, you yeah, didn't yeah. want to pay their prices. Yeah, absolutely. So that's positive. That is a positive. It wasn't even on my list. Okay, this is a negative, but I don't know if it's a negative Go yet. On. From research, the four restaurants, the main restaurants, they don't oh, have a yeah. big dining room like Omarella. They have four restaurants that all serve the same food. But when you're ready to go and eat, you go onto the My P&O to reserve a table. They say it's normally about 10 oh, minutes. Oh, yeah. But not like a being virtual able, queuing yeah, thing they call it, don't they? virtual queue for quite a few things. To have to, A, remember to do that. And to which, log in on your yeah, phone. Yeah, log in on and, your phone. And again, we like to be spontaneous. And they send you a message when your table's your ready. Your table's ready. You've got five or 10 minutes It to might get be there. that when we get there, it's all perfectly great And everybody else walking. seems to manage it. Yeah. But it's just one of those things that I've not come across on a cruise before. And we get it. It's a massive ship. Mm -hmm. There's 5,000 people on there. Yeah, so, we said that, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. So it might be fine, but that's one thing. I'm just a little bit... Not nervous, but wary of. Yeah. Right, another negative for us. Go on. Dress code for the formal night. Oh, yeah. Yeah, P&O still insists on the gala night, celebration night, formal night being... Black tie. Yeah, and... formal. And just... I mean, as you can see... Yeah, it's just not it's us. It's not really us. Yeah, I've bought... And also, I, both of us get really sore feet. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not a girl girl. I don't do heels and I don't do pretty shoes. So I've bought a pair of boots and I'm hoping to get away with them with a pair of black trousers yeah. and a few sequins on a top. And, and I've got some pretend shoes that'll... because I don't like wearing shoes. No, you get sore feet as well. So yeah, you've got I've got some, some sketches Some sketches that, look like shoes. that are pretending to be shoes and we'll tell you if we get away with it. Yeah, or I'm sure we will. Kicked out. Sure we will. But yeah, I just don't like being It's just one added pressure really. Just... I don't mind dressing nice. That's not a problem. I don't mind putting on like I was going out for a meal. Yeah. But it's just... I mean, I wouldn't the... go into the restaurant in my Iron Maiden shorts... Uh, T-shirt uh, yeah. and my speedos. No. But, speedos? <laughs> but, uh, but, you know, yeah. I, I don't feel like I need to put on a it's dinner jacket and Being suit dictated and tie and... to, and ha again, having a look at some other, other people's vlogs, that if you don't make an effort, you're treated a little bit like a pariah on that night that there's not that much for you. It's yeah. after the keys you go for fish and chips if you can't be bothered. I love fish and chips. I love fish and chips as well. Right, have we got any more? Um... No, I think that's it. it says the Wi-Fi is expensive. Oh, we've said that one, like, haven't we? Yeah, we've said the Wi-Fi is expensive. So, yeah, that is us getting ready to go on the cruise. And we will see you all next week having experienced it, even though you've seen a few clips on this video. And you will find out 
how our travel day went and how our first day at sea went. We haven't got a drink to say cheers to the good times, so we'll say cheers to all of you and we'll see you next week. Bye. What could possibly go wrong? Bye.